Hello happy twins, welcome back to my channel. This is Charlotte with happy twins 1111. It feels so good to say that again guys. Okay, I've got to pick a card today. We're going to look at how your counterpart is thinking or feeling. This could be your masculine, your feminine, this could be a soulmate connection. Obviously my readings are generally very twin flame focused. I intend to keep it that way. I'm going to set up a new channel for non-twinny readings. Um, but if you found your way here today, trust that this, you know, this reading was meant for you today and that there may be some messages contained within just for you. Welcome to all my new subscribers. I'm so happy to have you guys. Um, I'm just going to turn this light on so we've got a bit more light. That's better. Um, it's so lovely that my channel's still growing after such a long ab absence. I thought maybe you'd have all abandoned me, but you're still here. Thank you so much. Okay. So hopefully you've picked your pile. We've got the Lumina Tarot with the Twin Quartz. We've got the Ophidia Rose Tarot with the Mazonite. We've got the High Tarot with Amethyst. And we've got the Illuminati Tarot with Garnet. We're going to pull some um, Oracle cards also. So we're looking at how is your counterpart thinking or feeling. Now I'm going to say he, just because it's easier to stick to, to one gender. Um role but you know this might be a she for you so don't take it literally um and let's see what's happening i don't like to indulge the thinking feeling readings too much i don't think it's good for us to focus on this you know but sometimes whilst you know i may argue that we need to go within we need to connect with the truth inside of us that's not always easy you know sometimes we're just not in the place where we can do that and I appreciate that so sometimes you guys just need that reassurance you need a little bit of a sneak preview to see what's happening I've just got a horrible feeling I've not pressed record not I have and you can all see everything okay great so part one let's get to it how is your counterpart thinking or feeling about you and this connection let's have a look we've got the ten of cups in reverse We've got the Nine of Cups. We've got the Eight of Wands in reverse. We've got the King of Wands in reverse. Clarifying. We've got the Ten of Pentacles. We've got the Tower. We've got the Ten of Swords, lots of Tens. And we've got the Sun in reverse. Now, as we've got lots of room, I'm going to pull oracle cards right away. Actually, bear with me because I'm going to get some. Um, I'm going to get the divine counterparts card by Made for Love as well. They'll be perfect for this reading. I should have grabbed them before two sex. Okay. So I'm going to grab some Lover's Oracle cards and we're going to get some of these Divine Counterpart cards as well. I've done quite a few private readings today and it's really interesting to see the same cards coming up over and over. It's so weird. But I've had all three of these out today. So there's definitely a collective shift and theme if you're a twin flame, which I'm sure most of you are. And of course, if you're not sure if you're a twin flame, I do do twin flame connection checks. You can buy those on my website. <coughs> that allows me to tune in energetically as a medium. Twin share energy. So if you are dealing with a real twin flame, I'll be able to see. Um, that does sometimes help get clarity. The, um, only 15 minutes, so you know I do them quick and fast to keep the price down for you guys. It's sometimes very comforting just to know what you're dealing with. So you can find um, the booking stuff for that online at www.happysouls1111.com. Okay. We've got abundance. We've got I'm not ready for what you have to offer. And we've got inner journey. And I'm going to get a couple of these as well. Ancient, the Weaver. Okay, 
part one. Your person is, um, is feeling very overwhelmed. They're simply not ready for a committed relationship. And this isn't a reflection of their feelings for you. It's just how they're feeling about themselves, their own situation. <coughs> There's a lot of healing happening here. And I feel that for some of you, this person may have only recently become single whether that was from you or from someone else, a karmic partner or some other third party, I'm not sure. But, you know, the Ten of Cups in reverse, which, you know, this card is a mirror image. So even when it's turned on its head and that's energy's blocked, what I'm hearing is this is what they want deep down, but it's not something they can face right now. Clarifying this, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Um, and, you know, that they're, they're very focused right now on building abundance on you know this is also a number 10 so we've got three tens in a row remember we've just had the 10 10 portal which is about completion coming back into unity with one so this person is very focused on their work they're very focused on their 3d their practical affairs and on you know working towards feeling good enough we've got the nine of cups here which is that very independent energy self-fulfillment This is also hermit energy, and we've got the nine over here. However, you know, I feel like this suddenly being on their own has is, is created a bit of a tower moment. It's forcing them to face themselves, to face self-judgment, to face um, the shadow aspects of self, to face some kind of painful truth. So they need to be on their own now, right now. They need to, to go on this inner journey. Um, this means they're not going to be taking action. They don't feel like they can. And they're feeling... I do feel like they think this um, relationship with you is fated. There are some very, very deep emotions here. But those emotions are distorting their perception of what is real. They're aware that there are some powerful lessons and learning experiences being brought forward here. And that this is definitely a divinely guided, kind of fated or destined connection. But they don't feel like they can move forward at the moment. They're, they're, they're very focused on themselves and their own healing and closing out these healing cycles. I feel like this person could be, you know, experiencing quite a sad time, a depressive episode. And they, you know, this card here is about time and about giving it time. And they know that they need to give themselves that time. And this is what we're seeing here. I'm not ready for what you have to offer. This is a number four card, the number of divine masculine energy, the emperor. You know, they need to be on their inner journey. But certainly with the sun and the king of wands in the reverse, they're feeling powerless to take action. So they're very wrapped up in their own emotions right now. There's a lot of unwanted thoughts. And they need to take the time to dissolve these unwanted, unwanted thoughts, to transmute them into light, which will create, you know, the space for new opportunities and possibilities. So, you know, as far as they're feeling about you, I'd say very, very strongly, I'd, you know, this Ten of Cups and this Ten of Pentacles, um, you know, despite this being in reverse, shows what they want. But that's, that's being blocked by their focus on self. They're, 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 they're striving to be better that they don't feel ready to give themselves to someone else because they they know they're not ready to give what someone else will need, want and expect from a relationship. So expectations are weighing heavily on them. If you're in a twin flame connection, of course, expectations are the, the, um, the polar opposite of the unconditional love we're trying to achieve. So they need this time out. You need to give them that time you need to allow them to, to process this healing. Yeah, they're just not ready to come forward. It says here emotions are a natural and necessary part of life. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So I don't feel that this resentment is regards to you. I feel like they're 
you know, as I said, they may have recently left a very long-term relationship. This person may have recently become single and being on their own again has triggered all of those abandonment issues um, which they're now facing. This is a painful um, crumbling of what is. And, you know, this, this Ten of Swords is really shows us how painful these circumstances are for them. Um, I'm going to pull some more. But yeah, this person feels deeply, they feel very passionately, but then they just don't think that they can take action right now. They're in a dark place. Um, you know, they definitely know that you've been brought to teach them some important lessons. Um, I'm picking up a lot of gratitude for that as well. And again, you know, you mustn't take any of this personally. This isn't a rejection of you. This is self-preservation on their part, a need to, to journey within, a need to close out their own kind of pain and healing cycles. Yeah, fearful world, number 15 reduces to six. So love is fearful. The lonely journey of the priestess. The heart eater and the all knower. So this person, you know, I said about them feeling this relationship is somehow fated and, you know, connected to their inner learning, their inner journey. And I feel like for many of you that they definitely have some kind of spiritual awareness. But love is just a fearful prospect for them right now whilst they're processing all of this abandonment trauma you know they're feeling very alone on this the journey ahead seems very overwhelming you know they've got to climb mountains and they feel they're not even at the foot of that mountain yet ne never mind the summit um they feel drained they don't feel ready to commit but they do know the truth I definitely know the truth. I feel like um, they may be particularly standoffish at the moment. And again, it's coming through so strong. You just need to allow them this time and space because they really, it's not even that they're not thinking about you, but the, there's so much pain, it, so many unwanted intrusive thoughts, so many... Um, powerful emotions and resentment about these abandonment issues that are just warping their judgment, distorting their perception of the truth and of how things are. But underneath it all is this very deep love, this deep bond, this, this awareness of the spiritual fated connection, this awareness, awareness, however, also that the lessons need to be learned, that they're not ready for this. So let's see how you can move forward for the highest good of both of you what do you need to do in yourself so we've got the two of pentacles reversed the queen of cups the hanged man and the three of cups in reverse so with the two of pentacles in reverse you're being asked to bring things back into balance within yourself and the queen of cups is very nurturing cancerian energy and we're seeing this mirror here um, this mirror image of this card. And I feel like you need to, you know, all of these emotions that your counterpart is feeling for you and thinking about you and all the pain they're going through <coughs> can easily be mirrored back at you. And you may be feeling, you know, this same sense of abandonment, this energy that's transferring across. And you're being asked to look firmly in the mirror and deal with it from your own perspective to surrender to what is so that you can learn from this, this cycle of change, this cycle of learning like they're doing. For many of you, you may have your own karmic situation so that these, you know, these, these feelings of, you, you, you may be being called <coughs> to reflect on that yourself to bring, if you're a divine feminine, 
This is also about bringing your emotions back into balance because Cancerian energy can be very overwhelming, very over emotional. Um, you know, Cancerian, one of the more negatively aspected Cancerian traits is that they have this ability to be overwhelmed and absorbed in their own emotions so that they don't have that clarity externally which is what we're seeing your counterpart is in that energy at the moment and you're being asked of this dragonfly energy to learn to skim the surface of those emotions and not to allow yourself to go in deep this is a time of rebirth and change of new creation of bringing feminine energies back into balance so that it's nurturing you know and not overwhelming <coughs> so you're being asked to surrender to what is <coughs> pardon me, I'm still not well. And um, I know that's hard. Okay, when we say you've just got to surrender, you've got to surrender, that can be so hard. Um, but it's just a change of perspective. And at the moment, you don't have to, you know, be able to fully surrender. That's, that, that's you know, it's like asking you to run a marathon with no training. You know, when you, when you prepare for a marathon, you, you, you run every day, you start prepping and you, you increase the amount of time you spend running and spend, you know, working towards that goal. But you have to make a start, you have to make a decision and you have to change your perspective so that you can see that goal and you know where you're headed. And the goal for you is to first change your perspective so that you can bring things back into balance and, you know, allow yourself to observe your emotions from from a distance rather than being so embroiled so deeply embroiled in them um because a lot of the the pain of abandonment that you're feeling right now is the transfer of energy potentially between you and your twin so you can trust that they feel very deeply for you par one but they really aren't in a place to reciprocate and you need to lovingly allow them the time and space to process their own healing and quite often when I share messages like this on my channel, you know, I'll see comments that say, oh God, I'm sick of waiting, you know, I'm sick of doing this, I'm sick of doing that. You know, that's resistance to your own journey. Um, it's, it's resentment, which is exactly what your counterpart is trying to lease, release and it's what you need to release. Um, I know you want to be there now, but you've got to trust that there, you know, everything is moving in the right direction and that this period of healing and change serves you both so i hope that was helpful please do like share and subscribe do comment down below and let me know what you think um, we are here to support you if you're feeling like you need some support in this journey i do have a facebook group for networking and support for twins you can find the in, um, information about that in the description box below we're very welcome there um, there's so many lovely happy twins waiting to support you who are probably in the same boat, you know, you're not the only one, you're not alone, so please do come over there and join us, if you'd like to make a private booking with me, you can do that at happysouls1111.com, and thank you for subscribing, I look forward to seeing you again, okay, part two, how's your counterpart thinking and feeling about you, about your connection, and what can you do to move forward for your highest good? I don't work with reversals in this deck, so if they come up um, in reverse, I will turn them up right. So far, I've got six of cups, ace of cups. This is beautiful. The two of pentacles, the nine of wands. Clarifying. Wow, we have the two of cups. <laughs> we have the king of swords. The Knight of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Wow, this is very powerful. These are lovely energies, part two. Wow, we've got Sacred Union and Sexual Union coming out there. This is really intense. And I'm just going to get a couple of these as well. Other world, which is about transition and veils and change, and the life bringer, growth and fulfillment. This is beautiful. This is really positive. Part 
how to, wow. Ah, my days. <laughs> this really is a very positive set of cards that has come through for you. Okay. So this person feels very deeply. They know that you're their soulmate or twin flame. They know that you're the one. Although I do feel that there's there's still some ego resistance to this, but it's mature. It's They've got a higher perspective on the outlook now. I feel that this person is quite aware of their triggers. They're quite aware that those intrusive thoughts don't always serve them. And, you know, they feel very passionate about making this work. This is definitely a period of the veil being lifted and of moving forward towards growth and fulfillment. There's two eights here. You know, the number of infinity. Um, we've got the high priestess card here. And I know that this is a soul connection. You know, these are very intuitive energies. And to get sacred union and sexual union is very, very powerful. You know, if you've chosen this card, this person is definitely... Um, I mean, I'd be very surprised if you're not already in communication with them. Um, but they know that this is a deep soul connection. And they want you, you know, with this two of cups, this is the union card, this ace of cups, you know, the one that's, you know, overflowing with emotion. But they are, they are looking at it from all perspectives. They're dealing as that veil lifts, you know, that they're facing, they're facing a lot of truths. And they're trying to integrate that with the emotional truth they're feeling. It's like a final integration. But they, I feel like they really want to come forward with an offer with this Knight of Cups here. You know, they're, they're very determined. Very determined, very fiery, very passionate. There's a lot of Pisces energy um, in this reading. And also, I mean, we've got three Pisces cards. The Queen of Wands is Pisces, Aries. The Knight of Cups is Pisces. We've also got the High Priestess, which is Pisces energy. But we've also got powerful air energy here, which is Aquarius or um, Libra. Aquarius, Libra or... or um, oh, what's the third one? What's wrong with me? Aquarius, Libra. I'm so sorry, I'm broken today. It's really going to piss me off. I need to know what it is. Aquarius, Libra. Gemini, beg your pardon. So if they are an air sign as well, this would explain this, this struggle between heart and mind. You know, this is their, their heart overflowing with love for you, of them thinking, you know, this is it. This is the one. This is, this is a deep soul connection. You know, that veil of ignorance has lifted and they're, they're ready to establish something real. Um, this card is about fulfillment and we're saying here it's worth it. This is a very celebratory card. There's three twos here, the number of the high priestess, you know, about unity and union. You've got the six of cups, which is that powerful soulmate connection and uh, that feeling of, of, of lifetimes of familiarity. It says here, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. So this really connects with what we're seeing with these two cards, this battle between heart and mind. But sacred union says honour and treasure your relationship for it's truly sacred. And sexual union says honour the place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. So, you know, I really feel like this person is coming forward with an offer of some kind. They're not giving up. They're going to be very fiery, very passionate. You know, we've got the sacred union card with the two of cups, but we've also got this very fiery, passionate energy. You know, they're feeling very sexual, very connected to you. 
and you know longing for that kind of physical as well as emotional intimacy so this really is a very positive outlook for you this is someone that has entirely shifted their perception to one of of love rather than lack that's worked at overcoming their own fears even though some of this lingers in their ego if they're an air sign that's natural that they're going to be trying to rationalize this but they've decided it's worth it that they're going to take that leap of faith and I really feel like you're going to have an offer coming in soon if you haven't already please do let me know in the comments below this is very very exciting what do you need to do to, to move forward for your own highest good part two we've got restlessness everything will be okay the messenger which is coming up over the night of cups that offer rushing in and alchemy which is about perfect balance so you need to be very patient because the restlessness here with this ticking clock and all eyes on the clock like hurry up hurry up i want it now you know this is resistance in the energy between you it's blocking the divine flow of energy you have to trust that your counterpart is there and that he needs you to, to your person needs you to come into balance with steps, um, with self, so that you are still and receptive to this incoming union energy. Um, you're being reassured here that everything will be okay. You're moving towards completion. You've got um, three ten cards here. You know this is this is all about completion, and we've just had this ten ten portal, um, and it's coming across really powerfully. The messenger which is coming over the Knight of Cups, you know, is the key to the way forward. But you've got to be open and receptive to that energy. So you need to get out of this restless, irritable, kind of impatient energy that you've been residing in. This is the message you needed. Everything's going to be okay. It's moving in the right direction. If you needed reassurance, and that's why you've clicked on your reading, this reading today, you know, here it is. This is a powerful message of reassurance. But right now, it's your energy that needs to be brought back into perfect balance so those energies can connect. You know, this union energy can't flow to you if you're not receptive to it. And while you're watching that clock and you're, you're residing in impatience and frustration, irritability and restlessness, you're blocking that flow of union energy. So that's a very powerful reading for you, part two. Please do let me know in the description box below if that resonates for you. I love to get your feedback. Um, and if you would like to book a private reading with me, of course, you can do that at happysouls1111.com. But I'm excited to see how this pans out for you. Please do keep us updated because um, that's a very exciting collection of cards you've got today. It looks like things are moving in the right direction for you. And I hope you can find that stillness within you to allow those energies to flow. Okay, part two. Thank you. For, sorry, part three even. Thank you for joining us. We're working with a high tarot today. This is a prototype of this deck because it's not actually been released yet. The Kickstarter campaign is done. It's fully funded. Um, I will put a description in the link below if you'd like to pre-order yours. This is a prototype. The real deck has very sexy sides. It was illustrated by Dan Francis, who's a very good friend of my daughter's. And I've been very humbled and privileged to be able to be a part of this deck's creation not that I had a, a great hand in it but he kind of would come and ask me for advice and for my opinion and it was just so lovely to, to share that project with him and see it coming together um, I know that as part of the Kickstarter campaign you could actually there was an option to have a, a, one single card of your choosing created just for you I chose the High Priestess, so I'll get my very own High Priestess card with this deck. I don't know if that's still available as a pre-order, but it's certainly worth checking because it's, it's a lovely treat to have a deck that's so personal to you, even if it's just one card. But these are beautiful. So, part three. What is your person thinking and feeling about you and this connection? Let's take a look. We've got the Three of Pentacles, the T. We've got the two of pentacles in reverse, which is the starfish. We've got the angel, which is the star. And we've got the high priestess in reverse, which in this deck is the dog. Clarifying, we have got the swan, which is the king of swords. The stag, which is the world. The monster, which is the knight of swords. And the goat, which is the five 
of Wands. I'm going to pull some Oracle cards as well. Oh, that one wants to come out. Wow. So many of the same cards coming out, even in private reading today. It's so fascinating to see these patterns. How are they thinking and feeling about this connection? So we've got number 11, Ragnarok, which is about an ending or final moment. And we've got number seven, which is soul kin, recognition, family and kinship. We've also got the world. That's the second time this card has come up. I'm waiting for the right time to be transparent with you. And strength. I feel really guided to pull another one. You are my shining star. This person's probably involved with a karmic is what I'm picking up. And, you know, this is where their headspace is at the moment. It's very focused on endings. We've got three cards which represent endings and closing out cycles. The world twice and this, this final moment destruction and ending card here, which is number 11. With the three of pentacles and the king of swords, I really feel like this is taking up a lot of this person's energy. For me, tea, I mean, I'm British and... If you're not British, you, you must understand how big a thing tea is for us. I mean, just to set the scene for you, let's say you just witnessed a horrific car accident, okay? I guarantee that the first thing a British person would do was get everyone a cup of tea. <laughs> Obviously, after making sure everyone was safe and had the, the medical attention they needed, it would be, we better put the kettle on and have a cup of tea. And in fact, in World War II, you know, it was keep calm and carry on. It was all about just have a cup of tea and get calm again. <laughs> tea is very comforting for us. And, you know, with this three of pentacles, I feel like, you know, tea speaks of this crisis moment in, in this kind of th third party dynamic and of some kind of quite painful ending coming to be. We've got the two of part pentacles in reverse here as well clarified by the world and the stag um i'm getting you know the, the the masculine counterpart's truth in this ending there's an awareness um and whilst they're optimistic about the future i feel like they're really beating themselves up there's a tremendous amount of shame and guilt for how they've brought things to an end or you know are bringing things to an end, this recognition that this cycle has to be closed, that they can't avoid it. Um, intuitively speaking, I don't think they're aware that there's even an opening or opportunity to move forward with you. There's probably been some kind of conflict with you in the past that there, that has made them feel just very insecure in your connection, a lot of very powerful emotions. There's so much guilt, so much shame, so much fear that they they really, you know, they're not sure if there's still an opportunity with you. But there's a recognition of that kinship and of that, you know, this, this hope and wish to move forward. It even says here, I'm waiting for the right time to be transparent with you and here you are my shining star you know, that they want to come forward, they're building up the strength to do that, but they're afraid and they're really looking side inside and examining what's causing them to feel this way. Deep in their heart, they know the answer already and it says here that they've, they're just going to do what feels right. But in order to see things clearly, they need to let go of some of the pain and also to close out these cycles. So I think they feel very deeply for you. I think in these moments of darkness, whilst they're going through all of this trouble and strife, it you know their thoughts turn to you and of how things could be. But they're definitely not 
confident that you're going to accept them after everything that's happened. Um, you know, they really feel that you look at them or that you have a very dim view of them, that you're not, you know, in the energy of supporting what how they've behaved, I guess. So there's a lot of fear of rejection in this too. But in their heart, they know the answer. They know that you are um, who they want to be with. But they are very focused on their pain and from a very practical perspective, trying to resolve this stuff they're in. So I don't see this person coming forward anytime soon. But these are deep realizations, deep acknowledgements of their true feelings and a time of really gathering the strength to move forward, to come forward and to be transparent. But, you know, they're closing out really destructive, painful cycles. These are painful endings they're going through, possibly family endings. Um, you know, we've got a couple and two children depicted in this card. So, you know, this could be really hard. And that, that guilt and shame, you know, is cutting deep. So, again, if they're silent, you know, I said this for part one, try not to take it personally because it, it's not a reflection of their feelings for you. It's just the pain cycle that they're stuck in and the need for their focus to be there. In terms of what you can do to move forward, we've got share tenderness. This is number 11. We've got restlessness. This came out for part two. We've got slimy. It's an interesting one. And we've got what is hidden will be revealed. So I'm feeling very strongly that if and when this person does reach out, and they may do for support, you know, because they're not, might not necessarily come forward with a, a tangible offer for you, it might just be a reaching out because they're longing for you, they're missing you and they just want some contact. Um, just try and be tender and receptive to that. It doesn't serve you right now to be patient. Um, or to be watching a clock or to put, you know, a time frame on this. I feel like you may have, you know, part of this conflict may have been a kind of all or nothing approach. Um, and that doesn't serve you right now. Just allow things to perhaps be a bit more platonic, to allow yourself to move into a more supportive role, if that's what required of you, if it's required of you to, to develop friendship here um, and patience if, if, if you feel able to do so. Obviously, if you don't, you have to put yourself first. Slimy is about this veil of ignorance surrounding the shame and guilt that your person feels inside of them. It's don't underestimate how intense that is for them. So your reassurance is and will be very much appreciated. You know, if you can shed some light on your own true feelings because deep in their heart they already know what feels right and good but you know if and when they do reach out I feel like this would be a very powerful um this would be a very powerful way to um reassure them that you know yes things have got a bit sticky and slimy and messy but you know that you do care and just let them know that things are okay. In terms of what is hidden will be revealed, I guess this is their feelings. Um, and it's, th this is about divine timing. And again, patience. There's seven stars in this card. There's a hand with a key and there's two keys and one all-seeing eye. It's surrounded by this kind of sevens, the number of the divine. Pink is a very spiritual colour, but the, the, the truth is contained within the heart. And this is what we're saying, you know, deep down he knows the answer or she, your person knows the answer and what feels right and so do you. Um, this is a number nine and I'm feeling, you know, that's, an, that's a very, that's a number of self-fulfillment, self-reflection and solitude. And I feel like, you know, the key to understanding what is hidden and the truth of this situation is going within, is connecting with your heart space and seeing through your third eye, seeing the truth from there. You don't need this 3D um, reassurance, you know. So this reading may have, you know, been a helpful 
trigger for you to do that is what I'm feeling, that you need to go within, that you need to start trusting your own higher guidance because when you push fear aside, the truth is definitely clear and can be revealed to you if you can put your ego aside and you know step into your, your higher self into that calm and peaceful place. I really hope that was helpful, Part 3. Please do like, share and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what you think. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can do that at happysouls1111.com. Okay. Part 4. How is your counterpart thinking and feeling about you and their connection to you? see what's going down here we've got the full one turned over here so I'm going to take it that's the moon in reverse the seven of cups the king of cups clarified by the four of wands the knight of pentacles Justice and the Seven of Pentacles. This is a very powerful lineup. Let's get some Oracle cards as well. Oh, do you know what? There's four popped out there. I'm going to keep them all. Sexual Union. Sacred Union. Oh my God, you couldn't make this up. This came up for part two as well. And Passion. <laughs> this is so crazy. I mean, this really is a powerful lineup for you, par four. Um, it may be worth watching par two also if this resonates because there's, you know, similar energies here. Divine inspiration and awakening and fate and destiny. These are the de divine counterparts in separation oracle cards. You can get these from Made for Love. I will put a, a link in the description box below. She's got some really cool oracle decks coming out. Can't wait to get my mix on them. Okay. <laughs> Your cards are, uh, you know, they're picking their own way out. Again, I was going to get three, but we're going to take four. Oh, this is so beautiful. Love this. Okay, par four. Now, if you found your way to this reading today, I'm guessing, you know, you just feel really uncertain about their feelings, obviously. And this is a period of massive transition. And I've talked in my reading yesterday about this collective shift after this 1010 portal and, you know, everyone being pushed ready or not towards surrender and then these incoming union energies. And I feel like your counterpart has responded quite well to this. They're very scared. They're definitely very scared and they're not quite sure how to move forward yet. They can't, they don't have the answers. They can't see. They don't have that clarity, but they're getting very creative and spending time thinking about it. They're ready to take this leap of faith with this full card here. And we've got the four of wands here, which is the original twin card. It's that twin union card. You know, they're ready to take a leap of faith. We've got awakening here and divine inspiration and also fate and destiny. So, you know, this really affirms that that, that 1010 portal, this approaching 11, 11 portal, they're being pushed. This is number seven and this is a number five. So there's been some kind of divine awakening, some kind of divine download that's created this change, this 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 kind of desire to take that leap of faith and move forward. Um, this is destined. It's They can't avoid it. They're feeling this strong magnetic pull, but there's also so much fear here. <coughs> there's a lot of fear. There's a lot of confusion. We've got there is a third party involved here. And, you know, with a seven of cups, I feel this person is very overwhelmed with not just how to move forward with you, but how to resolve the situation, the karmic situations and 
how to bring things back into balance. The feelings are very, very deep. Um, we've got the King of Cups here. This is Scorpio energy. You know, they are ready to commit. They're ready to invest in the future. But they may not come forward and be honest about this at the moment. Um, and it says here, I'm working on my inner issues and I'm not sure how you feel about me. So there's definitely an element of nervousness, but we've also got here, my love for you is deeper than the ocean. And this is a number four card. This is the number of divine masculine energy, emperor energy. Um, you know, I do feel they've made a decision about you, but they need to make a decision about their circumstances involving this third party. And you need to be patient. Patience has come up in all of the readings today. But you need to trust that they are invested. You know, their love really is deep. And Scorpio energy is deep. These are deep, deep, deep emotions. But they're also contained. You know, they're, they're being kept secret, locked up. He's not ready to let them go. Um, this one says, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. And I feel this is the energy he's connected with. He's connected with the truth in his heart space. We've got sexual union and sacred union here. You know, there is a, a powerful awareness of what this connection is. And a magnetic quality surrounds you at present is what is here. It's, this is passion. And, you know, Scorpio energy is very passionate. Um, so I do feel, you know, there's work for him to do. There's decision, difficult decisions to be made to bring calm back into balance. But he's he's on the right path. He's He's coming or she's coming. Your person has identified their desire to move forward with this connection. They just need to wrap up some loose ends. And they're not in a rush to do this. As I said, there's still a lot of fear about how they should move forward for their highest good. And there's a lot of fear about how you feel <coughs> and how this is being received. But they're going to be making you an offer sometime soon. But it's not you know, they're not rushing in. This is very carefully considered. They don't want to get it wrong. In terms of how you need to move forward, we've got no one is yours but you. Cosmic exploration. Broken and hatched. And volcano. Wow. <laughs> Both of these cards are number 49. <laughs> and, you know, volcano is a very passionate rebirth and explosion. So again, that's, that's masculine passion. So no one is yours but you. This is connecting to your own heart space and doing this, connecting to the truth of this, you know, if this is a twin flame connection, that you, he is you and you are him. And you can connect with that on the astral planes, that truth. This is a blue card. This is called cosmic exploration. And we've got five stars here with this kind of very phallic shaped rocket flying towards this planet, which is pink and green, and it's spiritual love and heart connection, surrounded by this ring of purple, which is intuition. So no one is yours but you. You know, this is about self-love as well as understanding that loving self is loving your counterpart. And there's a a real powerful prod here to to move into the connection astrally and the egg has hatched it's been cracked open that truth is being downloaded and there's no going back you can't unknow this truth he can't unknow this truth your person can't unknow this truth you can't unknow this truth but you need to connect with the the actual truth of you're already you know, because both of you, your your desires to be together are aligning. That love inside of your your heart space is so expansive right now for both of you. The love you have for one another, that you need to really embrace this and release. You know, absorb 
and integrate that truth and release any shadow aspects that don't serve you. Volcano, this is a powerful, passionate release. You know, lava destroys everything in its path with its heat. It's deeply purifying. It's very forceful energy. I'm going to get a clarifier for that. I feel really good I did too. Messenger. I feel like it would help you to communicate this, to communicate your passion, to, to purify any remaining shadow aspects that are blocking the flow of unconditional love because he's not sure how you feel about him. So I feel like you need to communicate this passion that he's also feeling to say, yes, it's magnetic and seductive to me as well and I'm enjoying it and I'm, you know, I'm ready. I'm, I'm open and ready to allow this because your counterpart is and I feel like you probably weren't expecting this. And especially because he's probably not yet left that karmic situation or whatever it is he's holding him back. He's got to tie up several things, several loose ends to be able to make this happen. So it may be unexpected for you. Um, but you need to keep an open heart, open mind and perhaps offer that reassurance when the opportunity presents. So this is very powerful, powerful. Please do comment and let me know if that's accurate for you or what happens in the coming days or weeks. I'd love to get your feedback. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you liking this video, sharing it, subscribing. All of that stuff helps YouTube recommend me to other, other viewers. The more engagement I get, the more likely they are to share this with others. So please do like, share and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you next time. If you would like a private reading with me, you can do that at www.happysouls1111.com. So thank you so much. Wishing you all a lovely evening ahead. I'll see you next time. Bye.